Hey everybody, it's Drayton from Scaletrains.com and I'm really excited to share this video with you. It's a teaser from our upcoming video on how model trains are made, which is going to be released later this spring. Now, this video features the pad printing process, so if you've ever wondered how model railroad companies are able to print those finely detailed logos that can be kind of complicated, whether it's a heritage unit or a commemorative locomotive like the DM&E SD40-2. Another thing that's really exciting, the locomotives featured in this segment of our video are actually in stock now here at scaletrains.com. The DM&E Mount Rushmore units are really cool because they commemorate the 50th anniversary of Mount Rushmore. It's a great way to celebrate our nation's history with your HO scale model railroad. So the video that we're about to show you is going to be released in two parts. Part two is going to be released first, so it's gonna be a little bit like Star Wars. And the reason why we're doing that is because part one features our all new rivet counter HO scale locomotive. So we're not quite ready to publish that video yet. So stay tuned, later this year, we're gonna be releasing that when we announce the locomotive. Without further ado, here's the pad printing process. We're really excited to share with you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content just like this. So after painting, it's time for pad printing. This is when the model actually starts to come to life. Let's check out the processes and see how it works. So we're often asked, why do containers cost so much money? They're just a box. Well, it's called printing impressions. There's a lot of work that goes into the printing process. Today we're gonna to follow a DM&E SD40-2 in the Mount Rushmore paint scheme all the way through the printing process and see how much work goes into making the model as accurate as it can be. So she's now loading a body onto the jig and we're gonna watch five colors be deposited on that body. In this case, white, blue, yellow, black, and green and you're actually going to be able to see the Mount Rushmore logo come into vision right before our very eyes. Now she's going to remove the body from the jig and she's going to take a very close look at it with a magnifying glass. This is to make sure that everything is unregistered. In other words, no fuzzy edges. So now that we've got the Mount Rushmore logo on the side of the body, it's time to add the red, white, and blue banner. Here in front of me, you'll see this machine's depositing four colors, black, red, blue, and white. All together, that's nine different colors to create this unique logo. When it's all done, they'll reset both machines and do the nine colors on the other side. So that's a total of 18 different printing impressions to get this one unique logo on one locomotive. <laughs> 